Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Sarah and I make lots of plus-size fashion videos just like this and throughout the whole entire year I also have a bunch of other content here on my channel lots of what's for dinner videos home decor mommy life Lifestyle beauty all that type of content So if any of that strikes your fancy I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and join our little family And if you haven't already don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Sarah England and today's video is the first I believe fashion video of the new year. I feel like I haven't done one in a long time I'm really excited Excited to do this one. Oh, I just haven't bought clothes in a bit. We're not going anywhere, you know? So it's just like, but I feel like I'm needing to do that like gap period between like it's the winter and the holiday clothes versus to just comfortable winter to spring lounge. That's all I want now is lounge. Just comfortable, easy things that I can wear where I, wherever I am because I don't need anything fancy right now, am I right? So most of these things are just easy, comfortable, really cute pieces that you can jazz up if you want to or just totally lounge in like I do. Um, I have clothes, I also have a couple of accessories and a pair of shoes. So they're all from different places. I'm excited to share them with you. So let's just get started. Let me also say, I don't know why it's so warm in the lighting i can't seem to fix it i the only thing is this but when i turn this off it's just really dark it's really really overcast today really cloudy normally i don't have a big problem with that but right now it's it's not working so well so please bear in mind that i'm sorry that it is so gosh darn warm in my camera all right i just changed the white balance i'm hoping that works i'm hoping that works all right so um, the first place I'm going to share with you is from Chic Soul. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love Chic Soul. If you don't know what it is, it is an exclusive online plus size boutique. Um, they sell just beautiful, really trendy, I don't know how to describe, like just the cool Instagram boutique clothes that you see that so many straight sizes have, but they don't normally expand into plus sizes. I feel like Chic Soul is just the perfect answer to that question. It's not like the Fashion Nova, Nasty Gal, Dolls Kill type of vibe, where it's like more in the younger 20s, you know, maybe teens, where it's just kind of like tight and leather and mesh and stuff like that. Nothing, there's anything wrong with that totally there's a time and place and if you want to wear that you go do you i just i can't wear that all the time so um this is like the perfect i feel like answer to my question of just wanting like some fun pretty cute mom clothes that just make me feel good i'm about to be 30 you know that vibe so if you know what i'm talking about then this is the perfect shop for you um they sent these to me i've worked with them in the past i love them this isn't sponsored by any means i don't receive any commission nothing from this they just sent these clothes to me um a couple of these items are from their spring and valentine's day line so i'm excited to share with them some of the other stuff is not from chic soul um so it's just a mixed bag so let me just start with the chic soul stuff the first thing that i'm sharing with you is this really pretty burgundy i think they call it ruby blouse and um it's I don't know what I would describe it as, but it's kind of like a swing blouse almost. There's a um, kind of waist stitched in there and there's like a ruffled edge on the bottom. It has a really pretty V. There's a collared almost or rolled um, sleeve and so it kind of gives it a nice little tailoring. It hangs really nicely on the frame. It's really pretty. This is a very easy top to throw on and go, especially if you like say you have to go to the store and you've just been wearing pajamas for weeks and you don't want to wear your pajamas to the store. This is like the perfect top. It's really comfortable, really flowy. It has such a really pretty flow to it um, and it moves really nicely. It's a high low so it's definitely longer, covers the booty in the back so you can easily wear this with leggings. You could totally dress this up for a Valentine's Day date night um, with like some of the um, Spanx or the knockoff brands, which is what I have, of the um, faux leather leggings with some heels would look so pretty um, and a little evening bag or something like that that would look so pretty with this. Um, you know, I definitely caution on the going out and partying during this time of year, but if you can like have like a fancy night date night at home, pick up some food, I don't know, make it cute. This is such a perfect like 
fit for that it's also just really nice if like for me like i just like to dress up for valentine's day regardless of what i'm doing whether i was married had a boyfriend didn't i just love valentine's day so this is really comfortable i really like it um i will say though that it definitely to me runs with a larger size um this is a size 2x i would absolutely size down one um at least for me i'm a pretty true 16 it has so much flow and just movement to it um and there is a tiny bitty stretch not much um but i do definitely think this is supposed to be more on the baggy flowy looser side and kind of slouchy um but i think i personally would still size down one but you do you um it's just kind of the fit that you would like but i really like it i think it's really comfortable this would be really uh pregnant mama post mom postpartum mama friendly this would be great if you just don't like things clinging to your tummy area this is a really good option for that um and that is let me make sure i tell you the names um that is the wide eye gaze top in ruby and like i said that was in a 2x um i that was for 38 dollars. i have a promo code for you guys that i will leave down in the description box i don't get any commission or anything like that it just tells you guys that i sent them um so i can keep doing these videos for you um you can use it you don't have to you can use it if you want to next i'm sharing with you one of more of their like spring it's like a winter to spring piece to me um and it's one of their sweaters i have said this many a times before but chic soul does sweaters so well i feel like it's one of their like just talents um i love their sweaters and this is no exception this is a, just a really really fun bright sweater um it has this kind of fun like acid acid wash kind of gray um it's kind of has like a tint of blue and different lightings um and then there's like a cream and it melts into this like neon fun highlighter yellow and this pretty peachy pink it's a bit more vivid and neon in person than it's coming on on camera um this is a nice type of it's like a nice knit it's not super chunky and super super thick it's like a thinner material but it's definitely still something that keeps you warm like we have our heater on right now and i had this on and it was definitely nice and toasty um the only thing i will say is this one this type of sweater isn't a super long sweater so this is just something um that you're not going to probably wear with leggings because it's not going to cover your booty i mean you can do what you want but this one doesn't cover your booty um and i feel like this would be really good with like high-waisted jeans or something so it can kind of like pucker up at the bottom and kind of create that like fun tucked in shape i feel like this is a really good option for that this would also be really cute which i've seen worth using like maxi skirts and then sweaters on top would be really fun for this one um i really like this i think it's really cute there's not a whole lot of stretch to this one so i definitely in my opinion this is a size 1x i would have sized up in this one i just don't like something that's really really tight and it's not tight uncomfortable just more form-fitting you guys know i like loose things um so i would personally size up one but um i think it's just meant to be that type of more form-fitting shorter type of sweater you know what i'm saying not cropped by any means but just like a normal shirt <laughs> i just wear things that are like 55 sizes too big so i don't know i would size up one um but it's just uh you know it's to your fit and your leggy this next shirt i freaking love this is what i probably wear will wear on valentine's day which i believe is the which is a sunday um this is like the most comfortable soft just cozy shirt it's perfect for this time of year it's perfect for valentine's day it's cold shoulder uh double-sided cold shoulder and then it has this really cute sweet little ruffle on the um shoulder part area it goes down into the sleeve and the sleeve is then cinched in so it has this like really pretty billowy shape to it um but then the bottom is just this really pretty just loose flowy bottom i think it's shark knit shark bite shark shark you know what i'm talking about i can't remember what name it's called shark bite shark i keep on it's like ooh, ooh ha ha shark that's shark bait whatever you know what i'm talking about um where it kind of comes up at the hip it's you know long and front in the front and back and it kind of comes up a little bit at the hip to give that nice shape um i love shirts like that i just think this is so pretty it's really really soft it's like a jersey kind of sweatshirt type of material but it's not thick and heavy like a sweatshirt but it just has that really nice softness to it um this to me is the perfect quarantine valentine's day shirt it is perfect to be able to wear um out you know if you have to run errands and stuff like that and want to still feel festive for valentine's day or like our teacher or work or whatnot 
um, but it's also really cute and comfortable for being at home, for having like a home date night. Um, you could easily dress this up if you wanted to, but this is something that I would probably wear with like leggings and little cozy slippers and have it at home movie night and date night. Um, my husband and I are actually having a date. It is completely isolated. No one's going to be around us, but we are actually going to a place. We're going to a little tiny house that we rented that's really close to us. We won't be seeing anybody, but it's the first time we've been out, I think, in a year. I think the last time we went out together for a date like was Valentine's Day. So we're both really excited about it. We're trying to be safe as possible. And obviously we're quarantining in the place and we're not seeing anybody, but um, I'm so excited for it. So I would probably dress up even if we're just going to a very small little house and not doing anything, but I still want to feel excited and pretty, but I will wear this on the date home because I think we come home actually on Valentine's Day. So this is what I wear, will wear on Sunday. I think it's so cozy and super cute. That is the Giving the Cold Shoulder Top in burgundy and that is in a 1X and I feel like that's a very true to size. That would be the size that I would have purchased and I feel the most comfortable in. So I definitely recommend that if you're size 16. I'm a 1X. I like that one. All right, this last piece from Chic Soul makes me think of all of those like Instagram or Pinterest uh, sweaters that are super cute and you can never find in real life and then you see them on Amazon and they're like knockoff versions that look nothing like the real thing. That's what this makes me think of. Not that it's a knockoff version, but that it's the real thing and it's so cute. It's almost shaped like a big poncho. It looks ginormous, but it's super, super, super slouchy. Um, and it goes off the shoulder. You can do probably both shoulders and do one shoulder. Um, it's really nice and like, it's loose up top to get your shoulders through even if you have broad shoulders, but it has like still a nice fitting so it's just constantly falling down. Um, I love the pattern and weave in it. I think it's so fun. It's scalloped edged at the bottom, if you can see that. Um, it's bat wing sleeves and then it comes in and cinches at your wrist to kind of give that shape. Um, it's just super cute. This is once again like just another really cozy piece you could wear at home and be comfortable and cozy in but easily still be able to go out and do what you need to do. Um, I really like this sweater. I think it's so fun. I of course anything brown. This is a much warmer brown in person than it's coming on on camera. It's just really beautiful, really comfortable. Um, this is called the Angel in You sweater in Mocha, and this is a, in a size 1X, and I would absolutely stick to that size. Um, like I said, it is super oversized for the reason for it to look super slouchy. There is some stretch and a little bit of give to this, not a whole lot, but enough I feel like that you could easily make do. Um, de depending on the like fit that you want, you can size up or size down. I definitely would say that this is the size that I would keep. I'm really happy with it. I really like it. I think it's really adorable. It gives me like a teddy bear vibe in a good way. I like it. This next set, I've been wanting to share with you for a while and I've had it for a couple of weeks. Um, and I still have seen them in my local Walmart, so I know you can still get them. But it are lounge sets from Walmart. They have now also recently brought a ton of new lounge sets over in like the pajama section. I highly recommend Walmart for their loungewear. They're super inexpensive. They normally come in a set and if they don't, the separates are inexpensive. That's the thing about Target that's kind of irked me is I feel like one, I feel like the prices have gone up and two, all of their loungewear sets are separates. You, know, you have to buy them separately and each piece is like $25, which is insane to me. This together was like 15. So that's all I'm saying is I definitely would recommend um, shopping at Walmart first to try out their sets because I just feel like they have a ton of variety, so many colors, so many patterns, so many types of like uh, fabrics. This is by Secret Treasures, which I've talked about a ton on my channel. I love that line from Walmart. They're inexpensive and I feel like such good quality and fit. Um, this one is like this fun snake print. Like I said, these came separately, um, but they were less than one separate at Target. So um, this, I did think I, I sized, yeah, I sized up for a 2X in these because I wanted them to be baggy and loose, um, which they are. So I feel like it's still pretty true to size, um, but I liked the looseness to it because it's just comfortable. They're really, really, really soft, like just so soft, so cozy. It's almost like that sweater type of material. I don't even know what type of material this is. Like it's just so cozy and soft, but it's not super thick. That's my biggest issue is I do not like to be overheated when I sleep at night or when I'm wearing like clothes at home because it's cold outside, but when we come inside and the heater's on, it gets really hot really fast. 
so i like something that's still really breathable which is this is so it's cozy enough to keep you warm but it doesn't make me sweat i love the little bottom just like cinched in pieces these are little joggers it has a tight waist with cute little gold metal bottoms i forgot what these are called they're called something specific i feel like it was in a movie they were like do you remember what this is called and it's called a i don't know anyway really comfortable these this one also has pockets which i love the top is super similar obviously same material it just has like a cute like little sweatshirt v thing um this was i got this one in a size 16 so i an extra large yeah an extra large in this one this is like my regular size um and it definitely is loose and flowy and comfortable i just sized up in the pants um i love them both they're incredibly comfortable like i said they have a ton of different styles and fabrics and this particular one i feel like there's like solids there was a camo print i believe there was a cheetah print there was a ton i just love the snake skin i think it was really fun but now i've seen a ton of stuff come out recently that i've seen people post and influencers post online if you're looking for loungewear you want to not spend an arm and a leg but you want to be comfortable check out walmart don't knock them they have been killing it i feel like this pandemic with clothing like they just know they know you want to be comfortable they're coming for you in a good way <laughs> all right another steal from walmart i feel like walmart has become a new favorite place like i love target for things for certain things but i've like turned to be just the such a big fan from walmart i just feel like they've come up um, with so much of their stuff they've just done such a good job it's inexpensive it's super cute it's accessible i love walmart anyway but these are a pair of little chelsea rain boots from walmart so these um are from the time and true line i believe they came out with these last year maybe even the year before that i don't know i've never gotten my hands on them i have needed rain boots for years and every year i say i'm gonna get rain boots and every year i never get rain boots now i have incredibly thick calves so i needed something that was going to work with my wide old legs um, and the issue with rain boots is a lot of times they are just not they don't stretch there's not a whole lot of expanding in them they're not super comfortable and so i do need to probably get shorter rain boots so i found these chelsea style boots at walmart i wear these every day <laughs> Um, in Texas in the winter it's wet it's cold and wet there's not a lot of snow we don't get like if we get anything it's ice um, and soon it'll be just a whole bunch of rain all the time and these will come in handy so well they keep my feet really warm they're really comfortable and I don't get they don't get wet so they're great they have an insert that's really cushy they're kind of fur lined um, but I don't find that my feet get really sweaty because the whole thing isn't fur lined no, I know it is. Wow, I never noticed that. I don't know, if you don't sweat it, so that's nice. Um, they have a little bit of a stretch on the sides. They're really comfy. I don't find that I get any blisters in them. I really like them. I believe they do have wide fit options. Um, I believe, yeah, this is a size 10. My true size is a size nine. They didn't have those the day I went, so I got these. They definitely are a little bit big, so I would say these do run true to size. Um, and I don't think these are the wide fit. I think these are just regular. So that's another thing. I have kind of wider feet. So I would say that they run a little bit wider and they run true to size. I like them a lot. Highly recommend them. I do believe they're, I don't know, under $20, maybe around there. They're really cute. If you want Chelsea boots that are waterproof, these are the time and true ones. Absolutely recommend them. I love them. All right, so the last thing is kind of a weird thing to share with you, I feel like. Uh, I keep forgetting my AirPods are in. I wear them all the time now and I forget that they're in, so please ignore my AirPods. Anyway, um, the last thing I want to share with you is kind of a weird thing, but last year, around this time of year, I was carting around a faux um, or knockoff Louis Vuitton tote, the little checkered, brown and checkered one. I'll put a picture up because I can't even remember what they're called. It's how little I know about Louis Vuitton. Um, I actually got it to go when I was going to Arizona last February. I loved it. I still used it throughout the whole rest of this past year. It's been great. I highly recommend that bag if you're looking for like a tote bag. I had so many people thinking it was real. So it was, it was highly recommended. I love that bag. But the issues with the pandemic, I have just been so much more cautious of like 
what I'm taking with with me when I go to places and stores or if I go to the doctor's office or what it is if I put my purse down in a bag or a basket or if I go to the bathroom or on the floor just I'm so as we all are so aware of germs so I wanted to get something that was just like less bulky that was had less contact with things so it was, I switched back to one of my old tried and true Michael Kors bags I've had this thing for years and years now I love this bag i still highly recommend this bag it comes in a bunch of colors it honestly like i've had this for years and it's still in perfect condition like it is such a nice bag i love it um this is the black one like i said they have a bunch of other colors i think this is actually under a hundred dollars on amazon right now i will have it linked below if you like um like course bags or looking for a crossbody like this it is a really really good bag however I need more room <laughs> because I have masks and hand sanitizers and my girls masks and we carry wallets and I've carried their wallets and I've carried tissues and I've carried like just a bunch of extra stuff that we used to not really carry it's just so bulky and having to go in and out of it I'm scared to drop things and so this isn't working anymore for a crossbody but I wanted something like I said either a crossbody bag or a backpack I didn't want a full French backpack I wanted a mini backpack I looked at all these really fun faux leather ones. It just was there a bit more glam and everything. But then I landed on this one. Call me crazy. I know I'm almost a 30 year old woman, but I just couldn't say no. So I found this backpack and it's one of the, I wish you could see it in person. It's this beautiful, warm sunshine yellow and on camera it's being washed out so much i wish you could see how beautifully yellow it is in person they have a ton of colors these are the like really popular well they used to be i don't know if they're popular anymore it's like the visco girl thing it may not be cool anymore i don't know um backpacks that were like all the rage like last year the year before um but this is a mini version of it and i love it i'll talk about this in a second but I wanted something that I could easily store all of my stuff in. That way when I ever I am able to go see my mom or I go to the store or what it is, I have it on my back and it's not touching anything. It's not hitting a cart. It's not in the cart. It's not on the floor. It's just safe in on my back. Um, so this one has a lot of space. I know like mini backpacks are all the rage now, so obviously if this one's not your cup of tea, you could obviously go a different route, but I just feel like this is such a good idea for times like these. But this one has a ton of pockets. It's lined and padded. Um, has a lot of space. Now, I, if you watch what I got for Christmas video, my husband got me a Nintendo Switch and he got me a Kindle, and I want to be able to take them with me, and I haven't been able to do it with my Michael Kors bag, but this has plenty of room, and I feel comfortable putting like my Switch in here, my Kindle in here, and all of the other stuff that I need. There's also a front pocket, and this is where it's, our masks are going to stay, and our hand sanitizer, and things that are just, I like need to grab right away and go. Um, I just really like it. I think it's so fun. I ordered a bunch of pens they haven't come in yet i'll try to remember to put a picture up of those i know i'm a 30 year old woman and that's like youngish but it's something that it makes me happy and that's that's all i need right now i need something that's bright and fun and yellow that makes me happy and it's something that i enjoy so i'm going to deck it out with some pins i'm going to make it super fun and i'm really excited about it um i also got this really fun case for my airpods like i said in my what i got for christmas video um i had no idea that there were so many customizable options for airpods i had no idea about the cases i was so excited to find that stuff out and so i found this one it's just this cute little camera i just love it it makes me so happy this is probably going to become a new addiction because they have so many cute cases obviously if you don't want something like cartoony like this or something you they have like really pretty sophisticated cases i just am still a child um so i love this a lot it's super cute i can just pop my airpods in which i should probably do anyway there's still a little charging spot this is from amazon it came with a bunch of key fobs to hang it with now i don't think i'll probably end up hanging it on the outside of my bag i'm just paranoid that it'll fall off somehow and it's not worth it so this probably also reside right here or inside of one of the pockets or if i hang it inside um from the keychains inside not on the outside of my bag because i'm paranoid but i just wanted to show you because it's gonna have a bunch of pins too and i'm just really excited about it so i thought this was adorable this was inexpensive on amazon had good reviews but if this doesn't float your boat they have a ton of airpod cases i didn't know it was a thing i didn't know i'm so excited anyway I love this bag. It's really fun. 
I can't wait to fill it with all my goodies. I just got it today. But that's something I want to share with you. I go from like super sophisticated and sleek and pretty and glam to like the 80s. I'm loving it. I love that mini backpacks have come back in style because I remember using them in elementary school after I was obsessively watching Wish Upon a Star and that style was no longer popular and I got made fun of a lot but it was just right there in my heart of like this is what I meant to wear and now it's cool again so I feel like I can just bring it on back except now I'm almost a 30 year old woman but you know what I'm just gonna use the excuse of like hey I got kids this is like a diaper bag even though they're grown and they don't wear diapers but i have kids okay anyway that is it i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i gave you some fun cozy ideas some fun accessories i hope you guys are all doing well please let me know how, below how you guys are doing i know the state of the world is in such chaos in so many different places and it's definitely been heavy on my heart lately i'm excited and i have so much hope for the future um as of 2021 and all of the stuff that comes with that. I'm trying not to make this like a political stance by any means, but I have a lot of hope and I hope you guys are filled with hope as well. I think about you guys all the time. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in my next video. And I've had so many comments and questions asking if my, what I get my kids for Valentine's Day is coming and it is. I was just waiting to get one last thing in and it just came in today. So I will film that up, film that this week and hopefully have it up this next weekend. So keep an eye out for that. I'm so excited to share that with you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.